Welcome to our online virtual open viewing today for the property at 62 Provost Milne Grove in South Queensferry. I'm Zaina, um, I work at Warner's and we've got our homeowner here, Greg, who is gonna be showing us around. If you do have any questions, feel free to um, just send a message on the our, on our kind of chat feature that we've got here. I'll send a quick hello out so that way everybody's got access to it. But really, if you're wanting to see additional angles or views outside of the windows or additional kind of pan or pans of, of around the rooms and stuff, just feel free to send a message and I can relay that information over to Greg and the family there and he can do it. The kind of virtual viewing usually lasts for around kind of 25, 30 minutes, um, you know, and again, you're more than welcome to hop on, hop off, uh, but any questions, please do feel free to reach out and um, kind of here to kind of help out. So over to you, Greg. All right, thanks, Anna. Um, this is 62 Provost Milne Grove. Um, just pan around first to show you what we've got outside. We're at the end of a cul-de-sac here, there's some communal parking. Nice wee quiet street here, nothing to come past us. So this is our driveway big enough for one car and a motorbike at push. So I noticed in the home report the surveyor had mentioned there's a two for uh, fences leaning. This would be what you would picked up on. You can see there's a slight bend in the fence there. There's a new post in there that I put in a few months ago just in agreement with the neighbour. So that's what he's picked up on there just in case anyone was wondering. We look at the front elevation here. This received external wall insulation and new render about two years ago um, with new window sills, new fascia boards and gutters at the same time. It's part of the same project that a few of the houses in the street were done on. Um, and also about the same time as well, we replaced the windows and doors. So these are all about two years old, UPVC double glazed windows and doors. So just stepping inside the hallway. Nice wee Macintosh design there on the door. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, I just take my shoes off. No so the first room on your left here as we come in is the downstairs bathroom and shower room. And how long ago did you guys kind of redo the, the, sh the bathrooms? Because they both obviously seem... Um, the upstairs one, that is uh, pretty much brand new. That's about three months old. This one, when we moved in, we replaced the sink and this unit here and put a new toilet in. And uh, that was pretty much it in the coat of paint. So this one got refurbished about maybe four years ago when we moved in. Okay. And then immediately to the left after this is the utility room. This is quite a nice feature in some of these houses. This room doesn't exist. Um, you've got a downstairs toilet and then the the room just the hall opens up to a double width hall until you reach the staircase. But the previous owner has put in this partition wall and closed it off and created this nice wee utility room for us. Absolutely, that's great. And you've so, got then, is that under stair storage then just when you're going in is, there? That cupboard there extends into the back uh, about the same distance out again and then a little bit under the stairs. Um, I would show you, but it's predictably got everything else. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> So there's uh, some good extra storage in here, um, a little electrical cupboard that I put up with a modern consumer unit. That was replaced when we moved in. A uh, smart electrical meter, which is a smart too, so it should be compatible with uh, other uh, providers, bar our one. There should be a smart gas meter as well, but there was a, a delay with that whenever we got it done. So the gas meter hides in this little box down here that I made. And water stop clock is tucked in just behind the dryer there. See this room gives us a good wee bit of storage there for extra bits and pieces as well. And then with the white goods obviously with the in the utility room are those items that you guys will be taking away with you um, or including in the sale or open to negotiation? Uh, at the moment we're intending to take the washing machine and the tumble dryer and okay. um, that will depend on the negotiations with the house that we're moving to. Um, so we'll know about that hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Wonderful. Okay, so back to the hall again. Um, this hall, we had it uh, completely replastered, ceiling, walls, and new skirtings about 18 months ago. Went to redecorate it and found out why there was a lining paper everywhere. So that was replastered all the way up the stairs. And that carries on up into the upper hall, which I'll show you after. So this is the living room, this is the main room downstairs.
Okay, for those of you that notice the sky dish, the aerial point comes in just down there. There we go. And the phone point comes in just in that corner around the back. Here we go, through into the back where the previous owner has undertaken, made some alterations previously. They've installed this archway. Um, I think in the neighbour's house, certainly there's a dividing wall here with a door through, so it's two separate rooms. Um, but I think this has opened up the space really nicely. And we've got an open plan kitchen diner. Great. There we go. Okay. Now, it's actually quite a big room if you don't have a chest freezer and a large aquarium taking up a lot of space. Uh, there's plenty of room in here to get a dining table, chairs, and a sofa, and another chair in here. Uh, now, with the kitchen, a bit unusual for a house viewing, but I'm going to ask everyone to completely ignore what they can see here because uh, we've, we're in the middle of getting some work done before the pandemic started. Uh, the work had to stop. But as of next weekend, the kitchen will be replaced so that essentially this breakfast bar comes away, the Belfast sink will be taken out, mm -hmm. and the units underneath it, and it will be replaced with one new double unit with a standard stainless steel sink. The worktop will carry over, and the space for the dishwasher will be here. The dishwasher essentially will turn. 90 degrees and sit with its back against that wall. So it'll be a straight run on the kitchen. There'll be no breakfast bar. And the units will be matte white and the worktops will be a, a kind of dark brown wooden effect. Similarly with the splashback that runs under the window and round there. Okay. Uh, the cooker, hob and hood will be staying. The range will stay. Uh, there'll be no glass in those doors. It will all be flush panel white doors. And the same goes for the other half of the kitchen there. Perfect. So essentially then the, it would still be the integrated fridge freezer. You would have the integrated washing machine. Your kind of cooker is going to be staying as, as well as the cooker hood. The cooker the, the fridge freezer, which is in there, it's a 50-50 split. Uh, mm -hmm. That will stay. And the dishwasher will likely stay because I think it's an integrated one in the new house. Uh, but we will again confirm that in, as okay. soon as we can. And when you said you, the work is, it's basically going to start next week, is that correct? And so for anybody who's kind of, um, you know, who registers a note of interest or submits an offer and then it would be subject to an in-person viewing, we could kind of coordinate that or even maybe even show photos of kind of any progress? Yep. It's a, it starts a week today. It's happening, it, it's happening next Saturday and Sunday. It will take two days to complete. Perfect. So, and we're going oh, that's uh, the other thing. We're also getting um, new, flooring. new oak laminate flooring, which will run all the way through here end to end but we'll stop at the door to the hallway we'll put a new threshold strip in there so it'll be the original floor in the hall and the kitchen and the new floor back here great great so out to the back garden there we go Nice compact garden, good for a wee family. Um, we did most of this when we moved in. Um, it used to be a timber deck to about kind of half the area of the garden and then gravel chips everywhere else. So we took that down, put the grass in, a uh, new patio, and that's what we uh, came up with. So the shed would stay as part of the sale um, and everything else would go. But I'll just come out into the garden as well and let you see the back of the house. Perfect. So you've got a water tap back there as well. Is there any electricity point yep. in the back in here in the garden? No external power source, but there's, okay. there's two that are right next to the door on the Great. inside. Um, the security light at the back there. And the surveyor also noticed, noted that the gate was a bit sticky on operation. That's true, it gets a wee bit stuck. It's a wee bit of a lift up. And then this takes you out into the rear pass, which goes down to the, the main road and just some of the other parts of the estate.
What's the um, kind of the mixture of the type of neighbors that you have, Greg? Is it a lot of families or is it young couples or is it maybe just a good mix of kind of older or younger? Or? Um, it's, a, it's a good mix. I mean, our direct neighbors, there's um, mainly families, uh, some older people, as I say, it's quite a quiet end of the street. Um, and kind of further down the street, it's just it's a quite a family oriented area. Um, I think a lot of first time buyers have families here. So. Because you guys are right kind of towards the end of, or near to the cul-de-sac, so it's probably a really good area, obviously, for, safe for the kids to come in and kind of play in the front and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 exactly, they can let them run out the front, it's fine, we've got a couple of grassy areas nearby as well, where it's, uh, where it's people that run around, and we're at the very top end of Queen's Ferry, so it's not an area that gets any through traffic, or even that many people walking past, it's one of the quiet areas, I think. Okay. Uh, Taking the upstairs now. Perfect. So, half landing. Over the stairs. So this is a bit of stair cupboard underneath the stairs comes around here and continues kind of roughly under these stairs. Quite a lot of space. You can see that's the, everything that we got replastered as I mentioned. Um, the all the light fittings will be staying as part of the sale as well. Um, all the blinds and the curtains. So that was confirmed in the schedule. So this is first bedroom to the rear. These are all three good sized double bedrooms. There we go. And we would be leaving these uh, cupboards as part of that. Perfect. Could we check out the view from the window? Would that be okay just to see kind of what yeah, direction sure. this one is facing? So you're rear facing a good here. To show you. These are up, upstairs, we've got these tilt and turn windows. So open them up. They open like that. Easy cleaning. And not the best of days, but if you take my word for it, that's the Queen's Ferry Crossing. Oh, nice. Okay. And the, that's the fourth bridge there. And there we go. There when go. the sun shines and it's a good day. Real bridge there. Fourth, yeah, fourth nice. bridge as well. <laughs> See, uh, the blinds that we've got in here and all the upstairs windows, they're called perfect fit blinds. So they're made to measure. So see, that's why they're staying. It's an easy operation. And they're all blackout blinds up here as well. Into the back bed, other back bedroom. This is, this is my children's shared room. So again, it's another good sized double room. If you take it back in the bed. <laughs> you see the blinds are same style. And this is also rear facing the same kind of view as the other bedroom there. Yes. Yeah. Same kind of view. Great. It's actually quite a good view of the bridges in winter when there's nothing on the trees. There mm -hmm. we go. Things for a wall that my children absolutely <laughs> love. <laughs> uh, one of two upstairs cupboards that we've got. This is a boiler cupboard. So lots of stuff in here at the moment, but as you can see, nice deep cupboard, plenty of storage. Uh, that boiler, uh, we've, it was there when we moved in. I'd estimate it's maybe about 10 years old, um, but it's all serviced and maintained and got current gas safety certificate. So this is the front bedroom. And another double room. This one has a built-in wardrobe. And let's see the view at the front. Jeez. A wee bit of green space behind the other houses there, and that's just the view down the street. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, the next one, another cupboard here, two hanging rails in that cupboard, excuse all the packing materials again. No, that's great. Oh, nice it's actually really good storage throughout. Really oh, sorry, was that final? I said kind that, that was really, really good storage. Pretty much in the two yeah, size storage it's, cupboards upstairs, and yeah. Um, actually, if we'd been here for longer, my next project would have been to make a bigger bedroom. So the idea would be to take this built-in wardrobe out, remove the wall behind, and fill in this door frame. Mm -hmm. So in effect, you'd create either a recessed built-in wardrobe and make the room you know, about two square meters bigger, or fit the whole thing through and have yourself a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah. 
So that would be the next project if we were still going to be here. But uh, this is the bathroom that wasn't long finished. This was uh, just before the lockdown. So it's probably like January, I think we got this done. Great. Great. Um, easy access up to the loft. And is that just, is, do you have just a Ramsey ladder there or do you just use um, just the kind of step ladders to get up there? Just step ladders, yeah, there's no fixed access up there. Uh, but it's uh, fully insulated, well, it's insul insulated above the joist, so it's probably about, I think we're seeing the home I'm not sure, but. Um, it's warm enough after we've got the external wall insulation done anyway, and we've got the uh, about half of the attics roughly uh, floored, so it's kind of loose laid boards everywhere. So perfect. Uh, we've got plenty of storage though, so that's Great. pretty much. Do you mind so, doing one more, if I can ask Greg, do you mind doing one more tour and then um, just kind of slow pan in each room and then when we're in the kitchen and then the bathrooms, do you mind even just turning on the water just to see the water pressure for everybody? Would that be okay? Uh, this is actually a uh, mains shower. It's not an electric one, so it's really good pressure on this one. I'll just turn it to the side. Yeah. There we go. That's great. Perfect. There we go. Um. So again, the panel door. You see the back of the front door there. Uh, the, there's two smoke detectors in the property as well here and the landed above, they're both mains wired and interlinked. So before that's five burner hop. Maybe we'll just do a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah. Go integrated hood. Separate grill. Two ovens. Good for storage that one. <laughs> So the fridge freezer, 50-50 split, that would be left as well. Perfect.
Hey, Greg, we have had somebody just ask if there's any chance that they can see from the, like the view from here to the front room again, just heading out onto the street. So here from this front bedroom. Sorry, the view, you, okay, the view from where to where, sorry? Just from this bedroom, just out to yeah, the front. Yeah. Open the window as well so you can see that working. So we've got basically you've got another street round there, one more part of the estate, and then it's into kind of fields behind these houses that you can see. Um, same for the way along the street, there's another, there's a a stake getting built on the other side of those houses, but uh, can't see it from here. So, there we go. Great. If anybody else does have any questions, please do feel free to kind of chat over um, because as kind of Greg finishes over this kind of final tour upstairs, we'll probably be finishing quite soon. Um, so just so everybody knows, we have recorded this Zoom call, so we will be uploading it onto our YouTube channel. So we'll ensure that this is all sent out over to you. Um, so if you needed to go back or wanted to go back and look at anything, you can do so. Uh, this bath as well, you won't be able to tell from the video call probably, but that's a really big bath. That's uh, 1800 by 800, which is you know, it's about another kind of four inches than the kind of average size. It's really comfy. Perfect. So, like the mixer tap, that's great. Yep, and got the electric chair here, which is one that will get me some wet. Fantastic. And sure. Okay, let's see the cupboards again. See, it's two hanging rails in there, loads of space. And boiler cupboard, there's two shelves fitted in there. Um, and I'll let you have a wee look at the boiler. Let's see, 10 years old, combi boiler. Not had any issues with it. Service and maintained, and got the, I think it was February that we got that service. Okay, so is there any, anything that anyone would like to see again? I don't have any other questions that are coming through at the moment, so I think that should be it. We did have a couple of people that have just joined in very, very late, um, and I have sent a message out just to let everybody know that, again, we have recorded the call, um, so we will upload this onto our YouTube channel and then arrange that we're sending the link out to everybody so that even if you did maybe miss the first half of the, the viewing, that don't worry, we'll be able to send all this out and you can see the whole thing again as well. So, yep. And I if anyone wants to do a private view and if they want to do WhatsApp calls, it can be arranged as well through one of please. Perfect. And um, we have obviously oh, yeah, said... there's uh, another should you, there's another um, path at the front oh, there. So that. Right. Good. That's good for washing cars and everything. Yes. Hi, Alan. I missed the first half because Oops. I forgot about the meeting. Sorry. Sorry, but let oh. Sorry about that, guys. Um. <laughs> yep. Yeah, do apologize, guys. Um. So we will again organized to send everything out over to you as soon as possible, just with the, the Zoom link, um, and we'll get that across. So what I'll do, Greg, is thank you again so much. Um, I will just reconfirm to everybody. So we, 
we're, we are kind of restricting the number of in-person viewings that we're organizing. If anybody does have any questions or wants to um, you know, ask your solicitor to get in touch with our office, you can register a note of interest or we are open to considering any offers that are subject to an in-person viewing. We can have a chat. So we are kind of limiting the number of people that are coming into the household. Um, but again, just feel free to, to get in touch and we can obviously discuss that with you further. We will again be uploading this, so I'll do my very best to get this recorded over just as soon as possible and out over to you guys really at the very latest than tomorrow. Um, but thank you again, Greg, to you and the family. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, everybody.